Okay, we're uh, we're here at the teachers' protest with uh, Christy Clark's across the street, uh, potentially, I guess, going for some lunch. Uh, what do you think about the turnout today, Gary? Awesome turnout! Awesome uh, turnout! Lots of people, not just teachers, uh, lots of uh, just ordinary people. And what do you think about the situation? Do you think they should get back to the bargaining table or what? Yeah, high time they got a deal and um, for the government to stop union busting. Who am I talking to? I'm Karen Hawkins. And uh, what are you with a local or what, why are you here? Uh, I'm from Creston. I'm a teacher there. Okay, and how's it going uh, in Creston on the picket line? <laughs> well, as productive as it is everywhere else in the province right now. <laughs> uh, you got probably the best sign of uh, all of them, I think. I thank you. Yeah. yeah, art school paid off, I guess. So what, what's, uh, what message do you want to say to Christy Clark? Get back and bargain with us and do this in, in good faith. Um, be honest. Uh, follow through with the Supreme Court rulings and do what's right. What message do you want to send Christy Clark today uh, now that she's here at the Heritage Inn dining in with her friends? I think that she's declared war on public education in British Columbia and that we're really not going to feel the impacts of this until 10, 20 years down the road and that'll be the legacy that she's left with and I hope she's willing to live with it. Okay, thanks for your time. Thank you. There's the idea that if we give money to teachers, then we take money away from business. But they are the same thing and equally important. I am a teacher. I'm a student services teacher. I work with children who have are struggling with their learning or have special needs. Okay, and uh, what do you think of the turnout today here from a Cranbrook perspective? Well, I'm thrilled. It shows how many people hold this as important. I'm seeing not only teachers, I'm seeing families. I'm seeing people from different groups showing up and that we all take, are taking this seriously and want Christy Clark to listen to us. I am thrilled with the turnout. We have so many different unions and we have the jumbo folks are here. It's a great turnout. So uh, what's the message for Christy Clark? My message to Christy is get back to the table, fix the mess that you made 12 years ago. This is your opportunity to do it. So do it and quit putting the money into the court system to try to fight your mistake. Get it together and get to the table in a meaningful way. No. You guys have a table inside? You're going to the luncheon, apparently? Yes, there are six of us teachers going to the luncheon. I'm not sure we're welcome, but we're coming in. We paid our money, and we are taxpayers. We're going to listen to Christy's message. I like my teachers because they, they don't just stand around and teach you what they think you should learn. They teach you what you need to learn for, for your future. I love my teachers because in kindergarten, they help you learn to say your words properly and not just how they think you should. I'm not a teacher, but I love the fact that our teachers care so much about our kids and they support both of my kids through their dance and everything else outside of school time. Uh, what do you, what do you, uh, you got a message for Christy Clark? She needs to start putting the families first and not just her family. When teachers are forced with no other option but to strike, then teachers are affected, their families are affected, students are affected, teachers' assistants are affected, uh, extracurricular activities are affected, families' entire schedules are thrown off, and it ruins everyone's plans, and it affects everyone's lives in a way that's equally as important as business. So there's no such thing that you have to choose between one or the other. Do uh, you got anything you'd like to uh, convey to Christy via Steelworker Media? I hope she stops ignoring us, ignoring unions in this province and ignoring working folks in this province. All these people here, all these teachers, they deserve a raise, they deserve a fair conscience, they deserve to be treated with respect. This government has ripped their, uh, went into their contract 10 years, 12 years ago and ripped provisions that were negotiated in good faith and ripped it out. It was taken to court, they were told twice by the highest courts of this land, of this province, to say that you were wrong, fix it. And instead they just keep litigating, keep spending taxpayer money in the courts and they're going to lose. And at some point they've got to buck up and they've got to treat these teachers with respect. People like you sitting in Victoria making side deals with your buddies 
to stuff your pockets so when you're finally getting kicked out of office, you got a nice little corporate job to go to. They've already put a proposal forward where if we, if the court case doesn't go the way they want it to go, then the contract vaporizes. So now we're doing teacher bargaining in the courts and waiting for their decisions. And this is a government that clearly believes they're above the courts, so I don't think things look very good for bargaining in this province. And they'll start with us and then they'll try it with a lot of other people. They still haven't settled with the, the truckers and dock workers, even though Christie said that they would, they would rather have a deal than a fight. It looks to me like she's consistently looking for a fight. She makes promises, she doesn't keep them. Um, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in trouble in this conference. This is a private conversation. No, no, no. This is a conspiracy. <laughs> An open conspiracy to save public education. We are absolutely saving public education. We are, we are. We are Two the presidents fighters. from the uh, Cranbrook Forney Teachers Association. There you go. Right. We are taking her down. Let's go in there. We'll see how long it takes to kick me out with the camera. Okay, but then absolutely. I'm going to get kicked out. No, you won't. No, you won't. No. Don't, don't be with him. No, just, I'm just going just to the door. Okay, right on. Yeah. Okay, All right, good luck in there. Good. I'm not going in, but good Thanks, luck. Thanks, Jeff. Good luck, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Kate. Get Mal, right?